the premier direct drive category in the world, the OK Class, is ready for a gripping final of 25 laps around the steel ring. With rain threatening to fall before the start, the teams are uncertain of the tactics to deploy. But with no rain falling, the teams prepare for action on fresh slick tyres, the first time they've driven on fresh rubber since qualifying. So far, the king of Friday and Saturday has been Gabriel Gomez, but Sunday's success has always eluded him. Today, he means to put it right. René Lammers lines up beside him with Thomas Stolchemanis and Nathan Tai in close proximity, and Alex Powell an ever-present danger behind. But who can go the distance in the toughest race of the weekend? From pole, Gomez had no issues leading Stolchemanis into turn one, but the Latvian was committed to making the overtake up the hill. It didn't work and he had to surrender. Gomez held the lead and Stolchemanis was lucky to continue. Others were not so fortunate, with Luca Samalisto and David Walter off in the first bend, but both would rejoin. The European champion was dueling with the world champion as Kia Nakamura-Berto tried to pass Matthias Morgato to no avail, and Guillaume Bouzard compounded Koski Motorsports woes by retiring. Ty was already in jeopardy, as Ian Eichmanns and Sebastiano Pavan were able to pass before the end of the opening lap. But it wouldn't be long before Pavan turned rogue and overtook Eichmanns on the second lap of the race. Elsewhere, Finn McLaughlin was enjoying life as an OK driver and overtook Morgato, having watched Nakamura Berta do the same. A lap later, he lined up a decisive move on Nathan Ty in the Sodi his overtake started a chain reaction that gave Joe Turney the chance to challenge Mark Dubnitsky. Could the comeback king really do it again? Mogato and Dubnitsky saw their chance to overhaul Ty and didn't hesitate, with Turney sneaking through in unison. It was turning into a nightmare for the Sodicart star, as his tyres were clearly not operating adequately to meet his needs. It was becoming horrendous as the laps continued with Gustav Wisniewski and Matt Kulnagy also making their move. René Lammers was finding it tough to unlock the pace to challenge for second and Alex Powell made his own bid for the podium. Then Miguel Costa went for the wildest move of the race. Whether it was impatience or a genuine mistake wasn't clear, but the gap didn't appear to pass Mark Dubnitsky and the Estonian wasn't impressed. Just before half distance, Powell found the gap to pass Stolchemanis, and he made a perfectly strong move. Sadly, his front fairing was loose, and he would later lose his second position regardless. Lammers worked hard to catch the Latvian, and charged up the inside with eight laps to go to grab third position, which would later become second. Having watched Lammers in the Paralin move ahead, Pavan decided he wanted to try the same trick, and despite a minute gap on the inside, he made it work, and into fourth he went would also be promoted to third. Eichmanns and McLaughlin entertained the crowds royally on the back straight in the closing stages. And there was more action coming from Jan Pashrovsky, who struggled and then conceded defeat to Ghazi Motlakar of Mozambique and Arthur Poulain of France. No love lost between teammates at Tony Car. Morgato was given the chance to redeem himself in the final couple of laps by passing McLaughlin, but he too would sadly receive a penalty, dropping him out of the top ten. Incredibly, Turney would pass him too, with the exact same outcome. McLaughlin wasn't content to lose out, however, and at the top of the crest, the Irishman returned the favour on the winner in Valencia, who wouldn't return to the winner's dais today. That honour had been reserved for Gabriel Gomez, who finally gave CRG the win he had been building up to with them in Europe for over two years. It was finally his moment, and the paddock would be queuing up after the flag to welcome the popular 16-year-old home. The glory was finally his, and as he toured home on the victory lap, it seemed the party had already started. And having scored 150 points out of a possible 162 this year, things are looking good for the brilliant Brazilian. Lamas and Pavan were promoted to second and third, as Powell was demoted to fourth whilst Eichmanns came home ahead of McLaughlin and Nakamura Berta, with Dubnitsky scoring his best ever finish in front of Costa and Wisniewski. The fans were flocking to be part of the CRG celebrations on the podium, but the whole affair 
was a very happy one. Sebastiano Pavan had scored his first senior podium for the Tony Kart factory team, a high honour for any Italian. René Lammers had stamped his authority on the opposition as a sophomore senior, and now he's a title contender. But Gabriel Gomez had finally reached his potential and held it all together for a superb and flawless race weekend. Pole position and seven race wins to conquer the steel ring and take the lead in the championship. Can anybody stop his march to the title? Yes, it was a perfect week for us. We work a lot to do this. I'm so happy we felt the work with the team. Uh, we already were so fast in the last race. Also in Valencia, in the first round, we are so fast, we win every race, but in the final we do a little bit of mistakes and we go home, we study what is the problem and we know and we learn from this time and now we do the perfect week we, we, as we can. Uh, it was perfect from the, already from the qualifying pole position, we know the hits with the fastest laps, and now the hits, win the super hit also with the fastest lap and now in the final win again with the fastest lap and more than four seconds of gap. I'm, I'm so happy with this. Uh, yeah, already looking from qualifying, we had to go on our group. Uh, I think I think we were yeah, at the pace, uh, just in the final we were lacking a bit. I don't know why, we'll uh, figure that out later. But for sure in the heat and super heat, we got some uh, some very good points in the championship and I think we're still a championship contender. The start was very good. I immediately went to P6 and after overtake and went to P4 and after uh, for a bumper penalty of another driver I luckily get P3. I want to thank Tony Gard for the great work they made through the week and for the great chassis they gave to me. Yes, we are happy to come back and uh, first of all I'm very happy for, for Gabri Gabriel because finally he got the, the result that he, he deserved and I'm very happy for the team Every member makes a very good job, perfect, and it's very important for us. Uh, now we just need to, to keep this, uh, this pace for, for the next race. We need to enjoy, of course, this result, but also we, need, we must be uh, focused on to the next one in rugby. We are in the right way. We, we don't stop, so we, we continue to work to improve every part and uh, be perfect for, uh, for the next and get the, the and reach the goal.